Hey guys, it's Neymanya and today I will show you how you can easily create a nebula in Photoshop completely from scratch and then use it as a background for maybe some sci-fi composite scene or maybe just as a sky replacement for some landscape photo to make everything more interesting or as a wallpaper for your phone, desktop and so on and so forth. So let's do it. Okay guys, we are here in Photoshop and for this example I'm choosing just 16 by 9 aspect ratio so you can use whatever you want if you want for phone wallpaper, make it uh, vertical if you want square, whatever you want, just choose any kind of document size and then I will create a new layer and fill it with a black alt and backspace or option backspace on Mac and this is really cool, this is our space background, so darkness all around. Then another layer again fill it with black or just duplicate first one and these will be stars so I will name this stars because in space we can see some stars and how to create stars easily in Photoshop go to filter and stars no actually add noise and here you need to change the amount I like to use Gaussian Gaussian blur actually not blur but Gaussian um, method for creating a noise instead of uniform so something around this or a little bit less maybe it depends on the document size so this is really cool monochromatic use monochromatic you don't want colorized and that's that's it now you need to go to the levels image adjustments levels and here you just want to make blacks darker so you can see less and less stars so that's the point here so let's it's something like that because you don't want to have noise on the screen you just want to have impression that they are stars so this is pretty cool I think press ok and now let's make a copy of this layer Control or command J and this time I will press Control or command T to transform it make everything bigger so let's see these are a little bit bigger stars now as you can see if I put this in a screen blending mode we can see the smaller stars with these bigger so that's cool maybe even bigger let's see now yeah this is pretty pretty nice for this I will press enter and uh, that's it and now the fun part starts now we will create the actual nebula so to do that I will create a new empty layer name it color because I want to colorize the nebula on a separate separate layer and another layer I will name it nebula okay this is it you can choose whatever you want to do it first either to colorize it or to create nebula so let's start with the colors so for the colors I will go and choose this red part of the spectrum you can be creative and choose different colors you can always change colors later you will see now as I'm doing this so I will start with the red color like this and you can use just custom round soft brush and populate some colors here on the screen or what I will do here just to make it more fun while I'm doing, I like to use my cloud dust smoke brush and just populate the screen like red. Okay, we have red. Then let's go with a little bit more pinkish here. So something like this is cool. Then let's go to more purplish. Gerald Undone type of color. And now you can just press Alt and sample colors and just paint, paint with this. Maybe I want the purple in the middle pinkish purple and then more reddish around maybe this color is cool too so I will move this down a little bit and the point of this is just to make like a background color for the nebula and then we will blur everything so I will go to filter blur Gaussian blur and really blur it a lot as you can see so depends on the document size you will blur more or less in the pixels here but something something Around this the point is to blend everything together nicely like this like it's one nice gradient and I will press ok this is cool you can always go here and change some colors or put the hue and saturation adjustment layer to affect only the color layer and change the tonality and play with that so let's go like this for a start and now let's create a nebula so to create a nebula what I want to do I want to use either this elliptical murky tool and just make a selection of where I want my nebula to be or I will go with lasso tool I prefer lasso tool and some imperfect shape like this and then make sure to have default colors black and white here for that press D on a keyboard and here it is so filter 
Render clouds. Uh, doesn't look good. Why? Well, because I need to feather the edges. I don't want so harsh edges. So before that, let's go to select, modify, selection and feather. And I will feather a lot. 50, it's pretty cool. And now let's go to filter, render and clouds. And now looks good. Actually, it's crazy, but it's better. And now I will deselect control or command D. Then again, filter, render, difference clouds. And this is what we are looking for. But I don't want so many black parts. I want more white parts. So let's repeat the filter again. Filter, render, difference clouds. And this is much better. Now, in order to apply this effect, all we need to do is to go from normal to color dodge blending mode. And it's almost awesome. What now we need to do is to go to color layer and lower the opacity because this is too much colors. And now it's really cool. Now it's, I, I love it how it looks. It's really nice, cool spacing. And now you can stop it here. You can use this as your nebula or you can modify it even more and have even more fun. So I will have even more fun with this. And to do that, I will first transform this. I will go with the control or command T right click warp it and I will click with the alt to add a few more uh, lines here and then I will just go like oh sorry I need to not the colors but the nebula wrong layer so warp it alt I just want to click here and like this I just want to stretch it a little bit maybe like that and here we can have fun with this or maybe something like it's going up it's a space, it's a science fiction, it's you can do whatever you want. So however you want, maybe maybe like that. And maybe, maybe here. And let's press OK. And let's see this is before. OK, this is after perfectly OK, whatever you want. I really like it like this. And I will leave it like that. What bothers me here are the stars. First of all, they are too bright and too sharp. So I will go to the stars and uh, blur it. So filter blur. Gaussian blur and I blur it just for a few pixels 0 0.4 for the smaller ones and maybe let's see something around one or so for the brighter bigger ones and maybe just reduce the brightness maybe not like that but something like that is pretty nice and also what you can do now you can make a copy of the nebula control or command J and just go to the filter and uh, go to some crazy distort and go with this one, for example. Just do like that. It's it's really cool. It doesn't look much right now, but if you go again to a filter, distort and maybe polar coordinates, press OK. This is much better. I really love this and I will blur this. So again, my blur, Gaussian blur, actually, sorry, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And let's see. This is cool. And now I can lower the opacity of that if I want, or I can just put it here. I can put a layer mask right there and just erase the upper part or here. It's completely optional, guys. You can do whatever you want, maybe even lower the opacity. Also, you can put this into difference blending mode. And let's see. Mm, difference, where it is? It's here. Ah, no, I don't like it. So definitely color burn. Uh, sorry, uh, color dodge. And this is before, this is after, just a little bit more effects here. Also, you can stretch it and uh, do different kind of shapes. It's completely up to you, try experiment. I don't want to waste even more of your time. I will show you another trick. New empty layer in the overlay blending mode. Black and white is the colors. And now I will use brush and I will use my cloud smoke dust brush for this. But you can use any one that you like. And I will just make some parts whiter and in that way they will be brighter maybe to go to the colors and brighten it so just to see what mm, no no so just like this okay so just some parts a little bit brighter and this looks pretty cool to me maybe i just want this part to be overall bright there and and that's it Okay, now you can stop it here and use this as your final nebula photo or experiment even more with different shapes, blend them together, play around with that. It's really cool. So what I will do now, I will show you really quickly. Maybe this is too much. Let's go with the 20 
maybe this is a little better depends on the taste I can go and change maybe the color towards something else maybe this is cool no this is really cool because you can do that so let's let's go with this we can desaturate make it more saturated so let's let's go a little bit there and uh, 22 maybe oh, it's okay so I will go and just use these planets just to show you how cool it will be just for some kind of space scene because the planets are yellowish tone let's turn them into more bluish or something like this or maybe even green looks cool so maybe red or whatever and this can be cool you can add some kind of spaceship space station whatever this is something that you can use later for your background for some science fiction composite okay and another thing is really cool so let me let me just tweak this a bit let's let's go I don't know I'm not sure so let's let's maybe put it here okay you will see why and let's go to another photo let's go here and let me show you how you can easily use this nebula as a background for a sky for maybe this kind of photo or something completely as else whatever you want and also here I will show you really cool new sky replacement tool in Photoshop in a matter of few seconds you can replace the sky so to do that you just need to go to edit of course to have a newest version of Photoshop 2021 and go here to sky replacement and this is it the Photoshop will calculate what is the sky what is what is everything else and this is it so if I go and change the sky to something else you will see it's another sky maybe I want some sunset type of sky again it's another sky and also Photoshop uh, try to fix the colors of the foreground too to be matched with the background so this is amazing and really fast you don't need to select all of these uh, small parts on the branches and everything on the background Photoshop will do for you of course if something is not so 100% selected uh, masked out you can later mask it on your own so as you can see maybe some kind of a dramatic sky it's really perfect or if you want to load your own sky just click here but before that uh, I just need to cancel this to go to this document and save this so control command s and now let's go back to this photo again edit sky replacement and in a matter of few seconds we can go right here and choose the plus icon and choose our own sky so let's use with the planet let's see how it is maybe this photo is not so suitable for for this foreground but you can make some really cool fantasy photos so let's go with this and let me show you really cool things here you can uh, fade the edges a little bit if you want you can also go and change the sky brightness and temperature so maybe you want a little bit brighter sky like that and also maybe more towards the blue or more towards the reddish or actually warmer tones also you can scale the sky make it bigger or smaller but you don't want small like this so 100 percent not 10 but 100 okay you can flip it then you can play with the foreground so you can adjust lights here so you can go with a zero or adjust according to the background to the uh, yeah to the background then you can color adjustment move all the way to 100 it will pick up the colors from the sky and try to blend it with the foreground if it's zero it's you can see the difference so also light adjustment this is almost original photo okay and also you can output it a new layer or to make a copy of layer so I will go like this and awesome thing is that this is our sky replacement so it's in another group and here we have sky brightness sky temperature that we can change we can change the mask if we didn't like how the Photoshop did this part right here we can always go here and just use proper brush and maybe just change that a little bit I don't want to mess it a lot but let's see so maybe something like that and so on and so forth and also I can put a hue and saturation adjustment layer in between and maybe lower the saturation maybe change the hue whatever and because here we have a water we have we can make a copy of that and uh, just put it on the water mask out the water and like have a reflection of the sky and the planets in the water so this is basically it of course this part is a little bit darker so what you can do you can make a little bit different nebula more wider and uh, or just go here and just press ctrl or command t and transform it to make everything a little bit bigger and 
just have a ton of fun here maybe curves adjustment layer and just open the blacks a little bit not too much this is obvious maybe something like that and so on and so forth and with just a little bit more tweaking you can get something like this for example so that would be it for today you just learned how you can create really cool nebula completely from scratch in photoshop and how to replace sky in photoshop 2021 like this it's really fast easy and it's really cool to do it it's time saver instead of making a mask and do it everything manually right guys that's it practice have fun experiment and see you next time bye bye